But this is quit. Then again, this is apparently quits Rob. So who's to say? Now, I'm not going to dismiss quits Rob. Because first of all, his brother is Charles. And Charles is a fantastic Rob slash snake man. Um, and also, it is Rob. So it's not like there's all of this esoteric tech that he needs to learn in order to uh, do well in a matchup. But it is kind of still him messing around with the secondary, and player four might make him regret doing that. Because right now, yeah, he's looking pretty nice. 57%. Ooh. But here's where Rob things start to happen. Honestly, the chase down to player four have been really good so far. And he actually manages to take the first stock. A beautiful edge guard. I think he baited him into that ledge, uh, getting off the ledge with the turnip. That was like player four playing two steps ahead. And that sort of galaxy brain stuff is definitely going to be uh, helping him out here. This is the sort of thing where, ah, uh, yeah. This is one of the best parts about player four. The way he actually plays the game, his micro spacing, the way that he fades back just a little bit, whether it's with a float or just on the ground. It, that's honestly how he gets so many of his openings. And those openings have been uh, able to do quite a bit. Honestly, so here's the thing about Rob. Uh, for the most part, Rob is a, I'm not gonna call him an easy character, but uh, he is a, Pretty straightforward character. However, where if you are not a Rob main, I feel like where you are going to struggle the most is in disadvantage. And I think that's exactly what's happening with Quid right now. He's kind of going for these back airs, getting punished for them. Finally able to take that first stock, but already he's on his last one. And I'd say that player four has, for the most part, figured out what he needs to be doing. I haven't really seen any brilliant adaptation or game plan changes from Quid so far. Yeah, look at that. Knowing he's going to be shielding, knowing he's going to be too scared to hit a button, Player 4 is still able to capitalize on it. All right, we're starting to see a lot more just kind of throwing out neutral airs, throwing out these aerial attacks, which to a certain degree I definitely can agree with. Rob's buttons are very good, and especially against Peach, who kind of doesn't have, you know, a very strong disjointed move. Did he dodge the down tilt? Excuse me? He forward aired his shield, point blank, got parried, and somebody didn't get hit by down tilt. Um. All right, we're actually fast approaching the point where up throw from uh, Quid maybe can kill. I don't know if that's necessarily what he's going to be looking for, but the fact that he's been able to get a lot of grabs in this set so far. And I was questioning, I was saying, oh, the game plan doesn't seem to be coming together for Quid, but, you know, better late than never, especially because it's not too late at all. 45% on player four. For the most part, Quid, it seems like he's figured out what he needs to be doing here. Oh, man, going out deep there. That's death. That was so good from him. At that point, player four was forced to make his way back to stage. He couldn't just float helplessly forever and... Anticipating the exact moment he was forced to actually get back to stage, that rotor arm, it's a long-lasting move, and oh boy, does it kill. The base knockback on that move is ridiculous. Stop the battle. All right. Rob. You know, I don't even... I feel like player four didn't necessarily, you know, it wasn't like he was making big mistakes or anything like that. It was just that it felt like Quid figured out how he needs to be approaching the matchup. He was using a lot more forward airs. Gyro ended up playing a much better role that time. Did he, did he use the fact that the Smashville platform actually moves inwards at the very start of the game in order to get that follow up? Uh, maybe it was just my eyes playing tricks on me, but if he did, that's actually the single most... I don't know. That, like, that's the jankest thing I guess you could do on Smashville. Alright. As it stands, though, at these earlier percents, Player 4 has been able to dominate pretty consistently. I mean, there's those low percent combos with Peach, and against a big body like Rob, it can definitely go a long, long way. That being said, once you get out of the early percents, Things start to get trickier, and that's where Quid is really shining. Player four losing that stock kind of in a brutal way. The up smash 
able to really bring this into a dominant position for Quid. Like at that 120%. And it feels like he's still pretty comfortable. Look at this player four going for kind of these hard read options, unless of course those are the same ones. But even neutral air. Oh, we do have Saturn in effect. I like that. Oh, okay, by Saturn. I was gonna say I like the idea of throwing Saturn on the ground and then pulling out a turnip because that effectively gives you two projectiles. You can double it up. You can throw out the turnip and then grab the Saturn in between. All right, good job catching the landing right there. Once again, I said how Rob's disadvantage is probably the trickiest thing for a. Uh, you know, somebody who's less experienced with the character to really master. And it feels like Player 4 is exploiting that in just the right way. That being said, Quid's advantage state is Quid's advantage state, regardless of what character he's playing. That's kind of what we're seeing right now. Whenever a Player 4 is trapped at the ledge or pushed into the corner, he just ends up taking so much damage. The reaction time that Quid has, the fact he was able to dodge that side beat. Now player four finally managing to get a reversal. Some stage positioning, let's see what he can do. All right, actually solid damage, 80%. He is at 122, meaning he has to be scared of quite a few of Rob's moves. Definitely that back air being one of them. But he's managing to get quick to the point where he also has to worry about getting killed. There it is though, that back air at the ledge. The fact that it basically auto spaces means that it's a pretty dang safe kill move to be throwing out. The roto arm! Oh, that was actually so smart because player four regained con he gained control of that uh, gyro, but I believe as we saw when he roto arms it, it becomes his gyro once more. And as an option to get back off of the uh, off of the ledge, it worked out really well. At uh, 84% already, Player 4 has to be really scared. You know, I want to just dwell on the fact that Player 4 has not pulled a single stitch space. Really? I believe so. I haven't seen a pull on this set. I haven't seen a pull yet, one yet on stream, which, I'll be honest, didn't he play that's it? unusual. Didn't he play Noku on stream? Or? He played Noku on stream earlier, and I did not see a stitch face. Uh, or at the very least, maybe he pulled one out and it disappeared immediately. But that's I don't even think I saw anyone. That's anyone. just bad RNG. Yeah, dude did uh, did not play to pray to RNG Jesus. I'm surprised he actually didn't go for up smash out of shield mode, considering how like kind of unspaced that aerial like was. Ooh, the spacing on that! that I one, can't though. believe he got past down smash. He weaved right through that. That was really good. All right, and that means that there is perhaps a line of victory. Player four. Oh. Quid DI? Yeah. Quid DI? With no, uh, with no rage on Quid, that up air is not nearly as strong of a kill move. True. Oh, classic ledge trap. The gyro right there. It just, even if you just get hit by the gyro, you're still attacking on, like, you know, like, five, nine-ish damage. So, like, yeah. And you just reset the situation. So At the like, same time, though, if you roll onto stage, you might die. Yeah. Oh, speaking of dying. Yeah, that uh, was... That's... <laughs> The eye there was a little bit suspect, but I, I mean, it's not even like he held in. It's just like he didn't he didn't di it at all. So.